All right, Mark Haywald, two-time NCAA champion. Your third, third your sophomore year. That's correct. All right, and then you—that was when that was when men were men, and you could go on to the D ones. Right. What'd you do at the D ones? Well, uh, my first time there, I, I uh, wrestled a guy by the name of uh, Mike Frick. He was a three-time national champ, I think three times. Uh, I, I went two and two my first time there, and I said, hey, I can go with these guys. I remember uh, my, my first match, I was going against uh, Bobby Douglas. Remember that guy? Who's that? He's all time. <laughs> Bobby Douglas, he was a coach at Arizona State, and, uh, and uh, you know, I, I remember I was getting ready to warm up for my match, kind of walking by him, and he was talking to this guy. He said, hey, you know, you got some some fish from D3 school out in Cleveland, John Carroll, go out there and kick his butt. And, and, I, and I go, well, that's pretty bold on his part. And uh, anyway, I went out and wrestled his guy, and I beat him. Uh, it, was, it was a big big match for me to beat a guy from Arizona State, Bobby Douglas's boy. So I went 2-2, two and two, didn't place. Was that your sophomore year? That was my junior year. When you were champion first time? Yeah, it was my junior year. Okay. And uh, I... I uh, I, I wrestled uh, a guy by the name of uh, uh, Steve Barrett from Oklahoma, knocked me out of the tournament. He was ended up being a national champ uh, the following year, uh, or maybe two years later. But anyway, uh, going back the next year, I was ready. I was ready, and uh, I, uh, I won six matches and lost two, and I took uh, fifth. And that's when you, you had to... You had to win because now they didn't have double elimination. So if you lost your first match, you might be out. And uh, I remember I wrestled my first match, a guy from uh, Oklahoma, and I beat him in the rat tail. And uh, Stan Abel was his coach, and the, the guy quit the team after I beat him because Stan just chewed him out. Again, how could you lose to a, a, a fish from John Carroll? You know, <laughs> they didn't respect us. Uh, but we we had fun. Uh, uh, wrestled Mike Frick again uh, in the quarterfinals. Uh, he beat me that time, so I came back and won a uh, couple more matches to to uh, become an All-American. Fifth uh, place took fifth place. Earlier that year, probably one of the highlights of my career was, uh, one of the highlights, I guess you'd say, is when uh, we were out at Lehigh, packed house, kind of like John Carroll, but there was five, five maybe 7,000 people, who knows. Uh, Mike Frick, two, already a two-time national champ. Last match, senior night, he's beat me like six to one. Uh, I had a really good headlock. <laughs> and uh, I escaped third period. I set him up, and he come, he had a really good fireman's, but I knew he was coming, and he's coming in with his fireman. I hit him with the headlock, and I had him on his back for two minutes and 45 seconds, knocked off the riding time, uh, tied the match six to six. And uh, 20 years later, one of the coaches I ran into at a tournament, he says, why didn't you pin Frick? I go, well, I says, if I pinned him, people thought I'd caught him. So I wanted to look like a hell of a, a, hell of a match, six to six. So, uh, so you tied. I tied. That was one tie. had ties. Yeah, you could, that was a tie. A tie was a tie. You couldn't go into overtime. So, but that, that was a lot of fun. And, uh, and Jimmy Weir um, never placed in the state tournament. He was my teammate, and we sparred a lot together. Uh, he ended up being a three-timer here at John Carroll, which is pretty amazing, and a two-time Division I All-American. So you, so one guy went up to you on your team, on your own he team. Did. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, as far as all Americans, I'm, I'm a four timer. He's a five timer. Oh so. wow, that's right. Because you're three, <laughs> three in division two time champ, third, fifth in division one. Yeah, that's and not he, bad. Yeah, th so I, I, I don't think there's. Any, I'm the only four timer, and he's the only five timer. I don't know if there's any three timers. I think there might be some two timers, but. Uh, we got uh, John Carroll has over 100, 100 uh, All Americans, and uh, that's probably maybe 90 some guys because some guys are multiples. There's a lot, a lot of two timers, but I don't know if there's threes. There could be. <laughs> How did it make you feel when your son came here and he was an All American as well? Oh, it was very, very exciting. Yeah, I mean, no question about it. When Mark wrestled here at Carroll, uh, he was very intense. Uh, you know, he, he went to the state tournament, didn't place, and. Uh, when he came to John Carroll, senior year in high school was 152 pounder. He comes to John Carroll, wrestles 174, and uh, uh, he just uh, trained very intensely, like uh, like the guys you saw tonight. He's training these guys like he used to train, and uh, uh, he doesn't want them to be all Americans. Uh, I mean, he'd like them to be all Americans, but he wants them to to be uh, number one if that's the ultimate goal. So, so uh, yeah, to see Mark do a job. Uh, here was very exciting when he won that uh, match to be an All-American. Very, very exciting. Yeah, so it's like, um, it's just, well, you know, there's nothing that can be said about when your kid has success. So it's a lot of fun. All right, last thing, I'll let you off the hook. What do you do in life now? What do I do? Well, I, a real quick story. Uh, I, I had a travel business for 16 some years. It was a lot of fun. Uh, 
and uh, September 11th came around, got out of the business, and so I got into something a little more challenging, a little more exciting. I'm a, a retired a charter retirement planning counselor and a financial advisor, so I actually help people plan for their financial future. And uh, of course, you know what happened with the market the last yeah. two years, uh, but uh, our industry downsized big time. Uh, uh, I think what's helped me survive through this tough time in my industry is the fact that I did wrestle. You know, it gives, you know, a lot of people just quit and gave up, and they said I can't do this anymore, or they got fired. You know, I mean, it's been it's been very challenging, but uh, I really like to help people, and and, and it, it, as a financial advisor, I actually coach people to financial success. So uh, I also help kids with wrestling. I coach wrestling a little bit. I help out a little bit. I try to help Mark's guys a little bit, but really his team success is all him. It's, I have nothing to do with it. So a lot of fun though. All right, Mark. Hey, thank you for the time. All Thanks right. for showing me the picture. Sure. Zach. I appreciate hearing the history, man. Okay. Thank you. And uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs>